So I'd like to go over a calculation, which you had to do in the quiz, and a calculation that we kind of did before, but I think because of the way I chose coefficients, my choice was suboptimal. Some of the things didn't come out as clearly as they should have. So here's the calculation that I'd like to carry out. We have two vectors, A and B, and suppose that we're looking for a point that lies on the segment that connects the tips of A and B, that divides it in proportion, well, let's say 2 to 5, just to make it a little bit different. And the question is, in the linear combination alpha A plus beta B, what are alpha and beta? So that the result divides the segment connecting the tips of A and B in proportion 2 to 5. Well, one thing we know that I won't go over right now is that alpha plus beta must, must equal 1. This condition by itself puts you on this line connecting, that passes, puts you on the straight line that passes through the tips of A and B. And if alpha and beta are both less than 1, then you're in between. So first, let me figure out alpha and beta for this problem, just on an intuitive level. And then I think there's a way to do it if you're, intuition, if you're not 100% confident in your intuition. But here's how my intuition goes, and it's convincing enough for me. That if we were to take alpha equals 1 and beta equals 0, then we're right at A. If we take alpha equals 0 and beta equals 1, then we're right at B. And I think that's already beginning to give us a sense of where things fall depending on the values of the coefficients. For instance, if, for another example, if I were to take alpha and beta both equal to 1 half, then we're exactly in the middle. And sometimes I visualize it as being alpha plus beta, the tip of the parallelogram, and then one half of that brings us back to the center. That's another good intuitive geometric way of thinking about it. Okay, but what if I were to take alpha equals three quarters and beta equals one quarter? Well, then we'll move closer to A because A has a bigger weight. Three quarters here, one quarter is here. One quarter here. So I think intuitively it's clear that if this is half, that would put us right here. So it's actually, let me erase the numbers that we're after now and just talk about when the coefficients have the values 3 quarter and 1 quarter, we're right here. And that divides the segment in proportions 1 to 3. So do you see that if this coefficient is 3 times bigger than this one, then this segment is 3 times smaller than this one. So that's how my intuition works. If you're not quite confident in this, and the problem that was given was divide the segment in proportion 1 to 3, that's the problem that you had on the quiz, you could have done this. You could have said that to get to this point, I have to go along A, and then a quarter of the distance from A to B in that direction. So you could have figured out this point as A, that brings you right here, plus one quarter of B minus A. That's another way to think about it. Here is B minus A, it's this entire segment. Here is one quarter of B minus A, which is exactly what you would have needed to get from this point to this point. And then when you multiply this out, you get exactly 3 quarters A plus 1 quarter B. Make sense? So that's, this is a more algebraic way if you don't trust your intuition 100%. But I think at this point you should trust your, your intuition a little bit more. So if we just do the problem I mentioned at the beginning, divide the segment in proportion 2 to 5, well then I think that my weight should be in opposite proportion 5 to 2. So this guy gets 5 sevenths and this guy gets 2 sevenths. Okay. And that will divide the segment in proportion 2 to 5. The larger weight gets the smaller segment. 
because you're closer to that vector. 